spirited, spontaneous, heart-stopping college football in the nation, is it more exciting than in the Southeastern Conference? Hello, I'm Lindsay Nelson, and the SEC. Ten talented teams battled furiously for the championship, and it wasn't decided until the last game. The winner, Louisiana State, met national champion Nebraska in the Orange Bowl, and four runners-up accepted other bowl invitations to the Sugar, Alabama to the Blue Bonnet, and Auburn and Ole Miss faced off in the Gators. In the final Associated Press poll, LSU, Tennessee, and Auburn all ranked in the nation's top ten. The league produced 11 All-Americans and a National Coach of the Year, Charlie McClendon of LSU. The Southland loves SEC football. In 1970, attendance passed the three million mark as more and more fans joined the mad scramble for those precious 50-yard line seats. Let's relive this great year as we see how each SEC school faced the challenge of 1970. For openers, here's Auburn. In the Tigers game against Kentucky's Wildcats in Lexington at homecoming, quarterback Pat Sullivan, national leader in total offense, with 286 yards per game, connects with in Terry Beasley for a 73-yard touchdown. Later, fullback Wallace Clark on a kickoff return, breaks through the first wave of tacklers and races 84 yards for a touchdown. Here's Clark again, smashing off tackle and outrunning pursuing Wildcats, 62 yards to the Kentucky one. Auburn is fierce on defense, too. Linebacker Bobby Strickland cements Kentucky tailback Lee Clymer after a short game. Now, in Neil Detterming, fierce quarterback Bernie Strug. And defensive back Philip Gilchrist steals a pass from Stan Forston's strong arm. Added together, it became Auburn 33, Kentucky 15. Against LSU in a driving rain, Sullivan shortens his passes. He flips a flare to tailback Mickey Zofko to his right, and Mickey makes nine yards. Then one to the left, and Mick gets 11. Gardner Jett kicks this 25-yard field goal. Jett hit 10 of 12 such attempts for the season and placed second in the nation in scoring by kicking with 71 points. Against LSU, his three field goals accounted for Auburn's total score. In the Alabama game, Auburn is behind 7 to nothing when Sullivan fakes to Zofko and keeps at left end for the first Tiger touchdown. Beasley gets the tying touchdown with this 42-yard end-around sprint to the Alabama 7. And eventually scores the winning touchdown on this catch of a three-yard pass from Sullivan in the thrilling 33-28 contest. Defensive play like this helped considerably. Linebacker Gene Walker nails quarterback Scott Hunter for an eight-yard loss. 1970 football in the SEC was exciting. What's in store for 71? The prospects include six players selected for All-America. Johnny Musso at Alabama. Pat Sullivan and Terry Beasley at Auburn. Carlos Alvarez at Florida. Tommy Casanova at LSU. And Jackie Walker at Tennessee. Seven more are all SEC. Tennessee's Kurt Watson. 
and Bobby Majors. Mississippi's Jim Poo. Georgia's Buzzy Rosenberg, Roy Smith, and Tom Nash. And Auburn's Gardner Jett. Add to these 22 more who won all sophomore, all SEC honors, plus the stars of 10 freshman teams, and it's easy to see why SEC football for 1971 will again prove better than ever.